Hello, I'm Brian Gilbranson. I'm with Rudy Luther Toyota here in Golden Valley. I'm here today to help you understand how Entune works and how to better appreciate and enjoy it in your new vehicle. Let's get started. Well, today I'm going to cover the uh, pairing of the Bluetooth from your phone to the Entune sound system and also how to operate the audio portions of the Entune sound system. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing that you'd want to do is go over here to press the phone button on the steering wheel. You see the off hook, the on hook, which is cancel, and then the talk switch. We'll talk more about that later in a separate segment. Let's start with the off hook um, system that's going to bring us to the Bluetooth main menu. I'm going to push that, and you see that right up on the screen you have there is no Bluetooth phone connected. So then we go to the Bluetooth setup. I'm going to add a new device. You can see that right there. And then I'm going to make this system discoverable. From there, I go to my phone. This is a Galaxy S3 using the Android operating system. And I'm going to go to my settings. My settings is always in the lower left. I can select that. From there, I'm going to go to my Bluetooth menu. And I'm going to turn it on for starters. And then from there, I'm going to press the scan button. The scan button is in the lower portion of the screen. Now, this is fairly standard across all Android operating systems. Um, iPhone will be a slightly different, but actually more of the same than you might even realize. I selected it, and now I'm going to confirm the passkey. The passkey is here, 198827, 198827. I press OK on my screen. I press Accept on the touch screen here. And right now, it's doing its magic. On my screen, it says connected to phone and media. Now, it, I just had a pop-up. Car Multimedia, which is the Intune system, is requesting permission to connect to your messages. Sure. And now it wants access to my contacts. Now, this is important to do. I'm going to press Don't Ask Again, so that way if I update on my phone, You'll update here. That'll be pretty slick. I press OK. And it's going to take all of my contacts from here and put it into the head unit of the Entune system. Now let's see if it's working. I see that I'm um, connected here. Everything's good. And now I go, I press the phone button here. And look at my contacts. Now, the contacts up here are stored. I have different tabs, like tabs on a file, and stored, phone book, and speed dials. I have not stored any numbers in here yet, so that's empty. Speed dials, I haven't programmed any yet. We'll get to that. So that's empty. But my phone book, however, is not empty. You notice I've got uh, all of my contacts are right in there right now. So very slick. Um, how to store a speed dial, speed dial 1, no speed dial is defined yet, would you like to set it now? It's very intuitive, uh, guys if you just um, take your time and follow the directions, I'm sure you'll figure out uh, it, it's very, I can select from a phone book or enter by number. Again you just follow the directions, the speed dials are very very easy to use. Let's get off the Bluetooth now, now that we're paired up, and uh, I want to talk more about the audio uh, functionality of the uh, machine. So I'm going to press the audio button right here. As you can see, we're listening to 89.3, it's FM, and uh, on other, dis or other uh, stations, you'll have uh, the RDS system. To set a, a station, you see I just manually dis changed my station right here to 92.5.
I'm going to set that by pressing number two and holding it till I get a long beep. There we go. I just set a preset. Also bear in mind that the um, set numbers, I have a total of six set no numbers. Those are sets of six. So six times six equals 36 total presets. That's a lot. Um, that gives you pretty much any option. And the cool thing about this is that you can actually put an AM preset next to an FM preset. And if your car is uh, com has it, you can actually get an XM uh, or uh, Sirius XM uh, satellite radio preset. You could put them AM, FM, and XM all on your favorite, true order of uh, favorites as far as your presets go. It's very nice. Uh, gone are the days where you have to separate your AM and your FM and your uh, whatever else. Uh, you can kind of mix and match and put them in your true order of preference. Um, so, if you do not have the satellite XM uh, or, or Sirius XM uh, radio, you will have to, or you will get three presets instead. Um, just so you know, there will be a difference in that regard. Now, one thing nice about this is that you're able to, using your phone, you can go back and you can, uh, well, you can use stuff like iHeartRadio. I just selected iHeartRadio on my phone and I'm going to go to source. You can press source here and you see that I have selections of AM, FM, satellite or Bluetooth. I can do it a different way as well. I can pan over here to the steering wheel and press the mode button. By pressing the mode button I'm doing the same thing. I can scroll through FM to satellite, to Bluetooth, streaming audio. And see if it's going to pull up. I see that my, I haven't used my iHeartRadio for some time. It wants me to re-log in. Uh, it'll take me just a moment to do that, and then it'll pair up. Again, pressing over to the mode button, it goes back to AM and then back to FM. Toyota would really like to keep your hands on the wheel and your eyes on the road, so it goes ahead and uh, allows you to do most of these stereo functions right here on the wheel. So uh, that's about all for today, and uh, we'll see you next time and talk more about what Intune has to offer for you.